Hi and welcome to TAFE SA. This presentation will introduce you to an exciting new range of associate degrees on offer from TAFE from 2017. These new associate degrees lead to engineering careers. So let's start with a question, why choose to study engineering? An engineering career offers lots of variety in your work, opportunities to travel both throughout Australia and abroad, problem solving and challenges that improve the lives of people and make a difference in the world. And of course, the financial rewards can be very attractive also. So, are you wondering if engineering is for you? Well, have a read through the questions. If you answer yes to one or more of these questions, then a career engineering might be what you're looking for. So, what is an associate degree? It is the ultimate in flexible higher education by giving you two options. Firstly, take your job ready qualification to industry after two years and start your engineering career. Or secondly, you can take your qualification to any of the South Australian universities. You will get guaranteed entry and two years full credit into the relevant four year bachelor degree in engineering. You will graduate ready to work as an engineering associate or paraprofessional. What does this mean? Well, there are three levels of engineering jobs, trade, paraprofessional and engineer. A tradesperson is required to install, set up, assemble and or build based on clear instructions. A professional engineer is the one creating and designing systems and leading teams in the implementation of those designs. The engineering associate, who may also be known as a technical officer, drafter or site manager, is the one who has the skills to comfortably work between both of these worlds. They have good hands-on skills and their problem-solving abilities allow them to develop plans and instructions rather than just follow them. They are also able to support the engineers in their design work. They have an appreciation of project management which makes them able to work and lead in teams. The rapidly changing technological environment and industries need people who are able to work at this level with strong skills in problem solving, decision making, innovation, project management and working in teams. These needs were communicated to us after extensive discussion with industry partners and the result is this exciting new range of courses. So back to the course structure, in particular the higher education pathway. If you have made up your mind from the beginning that you wish to pursue the university pathway and complete the full bachelor degree, then you also have the option of applying from the start for a dual offer. That is, with one application you get two qualifications. Now let's look at the particular streams of engineering on offer. Firstly, biomedical engineering. A typical study program for first year would be engineering programming, anatomy and physiology, engineering practice, work health safety and sustainability, engineering mathematics and physics, design, construction and test of basic analog and digital circuits. In second year, you will learn biomedical instrumentation, project management, design, construction and test of advanced analog circuits and you will conduct a final year engineering project. Electrical engineering. Electrical engineering and electronics are quite different and yet they share some aspects. Electrical engineering deals with the generation, distribution and use of electric power including generators, motors, transformers, batteries and renewable energy systems. It's about high voltage. In a typical first year program, you would study electrical engineering practice, WHS and sustainability, engineering mathematics and physics, basic analog circuits, introduction to electrical machines and engineering programming. In second year, you will cover electrical machines, mechatronics, project management and the final year engineering project. Electronics engineering. Electronics is at the core of modern society. 
from mobile phones and personal computers through to complex defence systems, electronics is the enabling technology and it's low voltage. In a typical first year program, you would cover engineering practice, including industry standard soldering skills, WHS and sustainability, engineering mathematics and physics, basic analog and digital circuits, and engineering programming. In second year, you will cover design, construction and test of advanced analog and microcontroller based circuits, modern communication systems, project management, and the final year engineering project. Civil and structural engineering with a specialisation in design drafting. In first year, you will cover construction engineering practice, including the white card, scaffolding and safe working at heights tickets, engineering mathematics and mechanics, geotechnics, water infrastructure and basic drawing. And then in second year, you will cover civil, structural and building services, drafting, structural analysis, project management and a final year engineering project, as well as electives such as environmental engineering and water treatment. Civil and structural engineering with a specialisation in site management. In first year, you will cover construction engineering practice, including your white card, scaffolding and safe working at heights tickets, engineering mathematics and mechanics, geotechnics, water infrastructure and basic drawing. Then in second year, site management, structural analysis, environmental engineering and water treatment, project management and a final year engineering project as well as electives such as civil and structural drafting. So why come to TAFE SA to start your engineering career? Well, TAFE SA students do more than just sit in a classroom and work on theoretic examples. To get you job ready, we offer you a guaranteed two week industry work placement, a guaranteed industry sponsored final year project industry visits and professional seminars from those in the know and guest industry speakers on topics that will complement your studies. On top of that, you will be taught by lecturers with real industry experience and all of this in state-of-the-art learning facilities. Engineering courses require an aptitude for math and science. You will not need to display the skill levels of a mathematician or scientist but by the end of the course, you will need to demonstrate competence and that you are comfortable applying this knowledge. We are ready and able to help you develop your skill levels, but you need to have a good starting point. This is why you will need to have the entry requirements listed as you can see now. The study commitment for the associate degrees. If you're doing full-time study, you'll be required four days a week 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. This will involve contact hours of between 20 and 24 hours a week. If you wish to study part-time, the minimum will be four hours per week. In some cases, night classes will be available, running from 5.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. And there's also part-time during the day. The associate degrees are run across the Regency and Tonsley campuses of TAFE SA with electronics and biomedical engineering being offered at Regency and electrical and civil and structural engineering being offered at Tonsley. Here you can see the costs involved of studying the associate degrees. Depending on whether you're enrolled on a full-time or part-time basis, uh, you will pay for only what you're enrolled in. If you're a full-time student, you will study four subjects per semester at a cost of $6,250 per semester. As a part-time student, you may study one or two subjects per semester, each costing $1,550. Fee help, which is a loan scheme, is available for eligible applicants. In order to be eligible, you need to be an Australian citizen and earn less than $50,000 per annum. For more details, please check the link you can see here on the slide. So, what next? To enrol in this course, you need to apply through SATAC, which can be done via the TAFE SA website. 
If you have received an offer, you will be contacted via phone and email to book into a compulsory counselling and enrolment session. If you have not received an offer, either it's been declined or you're still waiting, it is best if you contact us as soon as possible. For as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be an engineer. I love building things, um, tearing them apart, and I've always aspired to build things on my own design. Straight after graduating year 12, I studied mechanical engineering originally in South Africa. Around the same time, I happened to be in South Australia visiting a friend, and that's when he introduced me to TAFE SA. For me, the most attractive aspect of the course was the two years career towards a pathway degree at university. There are two main factors that I uh, enjoyed the most about TAFE SA. The first one would be the practical component of the course. The second factor would be the authenticity of the lecturers. Having the smaller class sizes really made it feel like they were genuinely invested in our learning. I'm very happy with my experience with TAFE SA. It gave me the confidence to move on and expand my horizons past what I thought I was capable of.